All right, now that we've talked about the moment of inertia, we can now talk, whoops, we can now talk about, so this is your moment of inertia, and this was the mass times the radius squared. Now we can talk about this conservation of angular momentum, and that is where we can do really fun things in sport and motion. So when gravity is the only force acting on the object, you have a conservation of your angular momentum, which is your moment of inertia times your angular velocity. So once a person jumps, dives, leaves the half pipe, spins, then the angular mo momentum is constant. So if we have a large moment of inertia or a large distribution of mass, then our angular um, velocity is small. If we decrease our moment of inertia by tucking or bringing our, our distribution of, of mass or body parts closer to our center of, of rotation, then our angular velocity will increase. So in sport and dance, ballet, why can some people do 11 pirouettes? Why can um, somebody complete uh, 1260, which is probably dated now? How um, can people rotate around their longitudinal axis on the skating rink and there uh, there's a video of one young woman doing 308 revolutions per minute and that's pretty amazing why can gymnasts do flips or divers do dives and this is all due to moment of inertia so for this example of a dancer where is the movement where in this movement is she spinning faster so you'd say okay once she starts creates an angular impulse the um, angular momentum is constant so she would spin faster at points where her moment of inertia about the longitudinal axis was the least. And that would be two and three, small moment of inertia, small moment of inertia. Her moment of inertia gets larger from four to five, so she slows down. And then as she decreases her moment of inertia, she speeds up again. Which um, moment, uh, which axis can a a um, snowboarder decrease their moment of inertia? Well, they can do it in the ML axis, right? Because they crouch down. Um, one thing to remember for a snowboard is they cannot reduce their moment of inertia about the longitudinal axis because this board is rigid, and so you cannot bring it closer to you unless it had some sort of hinge, which it does not. Um, again, we see a ballet dancer, moment of inertia is large, so you'd have a decreased velocity. And here you bring your mass closer to the longitudinal axis, you decrease the moment of inertia, so you increase your, your angular velocity. This is a skater. <coughs> Diving, right? You jump off, create an angular momentum. Um, and then you tuck, so you decrease the I. Continue to tuck, decrease the I, sorry for my drawing. And so you get some rotations in here and then you untuck, increasing your moment of inertia to slow down the rotation so you can actually go into the water without a splash. Oh, I guess it stays. Um, so large I, small angular rotation or angular velocity small i, um, a greater angular velocity. So here is somebody doing a tightrope and they are rotating around the AP axis, right? They don't wanna go this way and they don't wanna go this way. So why do they hold a big stick? They hold the big stick because it increases the moment of inertia and it will decrease the angular velocity about that AP axis. So if you have a short moment of inertia, you might have a higher rotations per minute. When you have a longer stick or balancing stick, you decrease that rotations per minute and create balance. Now the pro problem is it's hard, right? Because the moment of inertia is, is high, so it takes a lot of strength and once you lose your balance, then 
um, it's really hard to write yourself. And then just to, to remind you, it's not easy, right? There's a lot of um, forces working to try to to uh, increase the the distance um, from the center of rotation of your mass, but um, these people are very strong and can hold tight tucks. So in summary, inertia is the resistance to linear motion, or I'm sorry, is the resistance to motion in general. Linear motion or linear inertia is proportional to mass. In the rotational world, it is the moment of inertia. And what resists rotational motion is both mass and the distribution of the mass, which is very important. That's how we can do all the fun things in, in movement. And I, meaning moment of inertia, is not constant in human motion. And finally, the conservation of angular mo motion, momentum allows us to manipulate the moment of inertia to affect our angular velocity.